Hiya, Martin here. Thank you for joining me for a project video. Yes, believe it or not, I have done a project video this week. I'm very sorry I haven't had a chance to do one um, before now, but with Christmas coming there's been stuff to make and things to do and, and all sorts of uh, other jolly things like that. If you are a new subscriber, thank you very much indeed for subscribing. It's great to see you. And of course, if you are an existing subscriber, then uh, thank you for sticking with me. It's been a really hectic run up to Christmas, so I am very, very sorry I haven't managed to do a project video until now. Uh, so I ordered three um, sycamore bulb blanks um, from Ed at Oliver's Wood Turning. Um, I'll put a link below in the uh, description. Uh, and they arrived yesterday, which was Tuesday, Tuesday the something of December. Um, lovely, lovely blanks, really nice and dry, great quality. Um, and I thought I ought to um, turn something with, with one of them. And my the compressor, the compressor for my airbrush doesn't work, which is somewhat annoying. Uh, so I'm having to find out whether or not um, the warranty will cover it. So, um, I've gone back to the old school and coloured this piece, which I'm calling Twilight, um, old school with um, paper towel and colours and rubber gloves, or sometimes rubber gloves. Um, so here is Twilight, um, 11 inch sycamore, um, similar shape to uh, Fifi, um, and coloured with orange black and blue and oh big long process to get to get it looking um, as nice as that uh, and then of course everything has been finished with Hampshire Sheen which I think you can see glistening there in the light. Now on the back um, I've put a new version of my Maker's Mark um, which you'll see in the video but I'm, I'm much happier with how this turns out than um, than originally. Um, also originally, which I won't put in the video, there was um, a copper inlay in the wall just here on the transition from the rim to the wall of the bowl. Um, but because of a, a mistake I made with um, lacquering and stuff, I had to turn the whole lot off, which is quite disappointing. But anyway... Thank you very much indeed. I will see you again at the end of the video. I hope you enjoy it and you find it interesting and inspirational. But for now, thank you for subscribing. Lovely to see you. And here is how I turned Twilight. this I hear you say? A finished piece? Um, yes, well it is kind of finished. Um, I coloured it and stuff and then I thought I'd be clever and lacquer it. But I didn't add any sanding sealer um, and so then I rubbed the lacquer back and tried to finish it but it just hasn't come up how I want it to. So I'm going to start the rim again. I've already finished the back and the inside of the piece, um, so they're going to need to be possibly redone. So I'm going to take this off, um, take all the colour off um, and any of the remaining lacquer that I haven't managed to get with wire wool and do it again. Um, so you'll, I won't bore you with all that stuff and then literally just shave that back. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm a bit frustrated about it, but Hey ho, you know, I'm a perfectionist and if I'm not happy with it, I'm not happy with it. So, right, I'm, I'll do that and then um, I'll cut it back and I'll sand it back and then we'll start again with the colour. Right, <clears throat> a bit more than a design modification this time. Change the design of this piece and I'm going to burn it. Um, yes, I know, I'm burning again. Um, but I won't be... Um, um, I won't be using the airbrush, I'm going to go old school, uh, mainly because the compressor doesn't work today. Um, right, so I've brushed the lathe down. Actually, change of plan. I'm 
going to slow the lathe down as much as possible by changing the the belt on the cogs. So that is as slow as it will go, which is 70 odd up here, maybe a bit less. With my torch, I'm going to hold it just on the edge here, just on the transition from the wall of the bowl to the rim. Just change the angle slightly. Looks good. And I'm going to do the same on the rim. But point into the wood. Into the piece like that. take um, a little 400 pad now and just rub that back a bit. Unsurprisingly the bowl has warped a touch. And then this will take off most of the, well a lot of the soot. And then get piece of towel and some methylated spirits, or denatured alcohol. And clean off the load more. start playing with some colour. Now as I as I want to call this piece Twilight, I'm gonna because I've already got some black on there, I'm gonna concentrate on blue, I think. So I've got I'm using chestnut spirit stains for this and I've got their royal blue. I've sped the lathe back up again. bit on the towel and I just want to wipe it from the middle. I've got to uh, rub it in rather than I think I'll probably end up rubbing it back and, out, and adding a stripe of orange in there. Right, that'll do for that. Now I'm going to go with black. I wasn't going to go with black, but now I'm going to just put black on the rim.
going all, I'm wiping all over the piece now with the blue to blend it in more to get a nicer, a nicer blend between the two. And plus, it's not, it's not even around the piece either. Ow! It doesn't help when you hit your face in the, hit yourself in the face with the top rest. Right, let that dry and then rub it back a bit and add some more blue. I've got a piece of 600 paper here. Slow that down. So I'm going to rub that back in 600. Quite hot when you dry it off with a blowtorch. I'm actually going to take some 400 to it. Just to rub that back just on the edge there a little bit more. Then the 600, a touch more as well. Nice. Right. Now I'm going to put my gloves back on. And I want to add a strip of orange on the inside. Actually, I'm going to do the blue first. I'm going to do the blue and then I'm going to do the orange because typical me I make it up as I go along ages to do it like this.
now that's dried off, <clears throat> I'm going to take another 400 pad um, and just sand back in a few places so I can add so I, so I can add some more orange. Sanding it back with 400 again. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm liking that. Right, I'm gonna do blue. side blue just like that and dry it off over the whole thing one last time with orange and then that will be it I promise because you guys must be really bored <laughs> orange start from the inside like it got to sand the inside again now right there we go that's nice I'm gonna let that dry off I'm gonna sand the inside again because I've just got some orange in there <clears throat> and then um, and then finish it yay finally right <clears throat> now now I've sanded down the inside down to 400. I'm going to apply an acrylic sanding sealer. Sand it back with double O double O wire wool. And rub it back with double O double O wire wool. Right, <clears throat> that's good, I'm happy with that. And now I can apply Hampshire Sheen. I've changed the um, the recipe slightly, so we've now got a nice stiff kind of uh, paste. A bit like shoe polish really. Apply some Hampshire Sheen to your paper towel. And I'm going to do 
do the inside of the piece first. Ooh, too much, too much of my own product. Ah. And do the outside, do the rim. I'm using a fair amount of pressure and I'm just burnishing it, burnishing it on really. It will speed the lathe up a touch. Clean piece of towel just to give it a bit of a buff in the middle. Stop the lathe. Check for the lines. No. And then when it's dry, give it a buff. And there we go folks, that is Twilight finished. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you very much indeed for watching. Um, I'm sorry I made a mistake, um, we all make mistakes um, sometimes, especially when um, we do things that we haven't done before. Um, but yeah, here, here is Twilight, I hope you like it. Um, I like it, I think that it's just sumptuous, lovely. Um, thank you very much indeed for watching, I hope you enjoyed today's video, um, I hope you found it interesting and inspirational if um, if you haven't subscribed yet then please do so and please do like share and well, subscribe thanks very much indeed for watching and I'll see you all again soon for another project video bye for now